along with technology completely taking over the education space uh, there is a shift that also comes in the kind of learning that it provides are you satisfied with that kind of learning how do you see that growing and how do you see that going in the right direction with hybrid being the need of the hour and hybrid being in all likelihood the future of education for at least the next couple of years to come the smart board cloud technology the artificial intelligence of course they have the potential role in the education and there will be a definite shift from the traditional education to digital education let us see the need for uh, digital teach that is the first what i would like to address there is lack of teachers good teacher for lack of trained teachers uh, that is all of us know that uh, many of the colleges and the schools infrastructural facilities are not good and there is not uh, enough of uh, well trained manpower so that could be addressed by some kind of a digital teaching the theoretical aspects of any course it could be across the uh, spectrum of learning it could be engineering science whatever can definitely be delivered very very effectively in whatever digital media and there uh, uh, people like saurabh bajaj uh, sunstone can play a major major role uh, in such deliveries you should come up with technology for education now and that technology for education uh just cannot happen just like that with smaller group of companies or startups but you know the larger companies larger it giants must must are we going to a system where uh rather than teaching from one to many are we going to have a personalized learning system going to be in place of what kind of change we are going to bring in how what artificial intelligence is going to play a role here how are you going to bring in the, the augmented reality or the virtual reality whatever we talk now into the system whereby the whole quality of education will be improved and it will reach to the needy people across the globe how that can happen rather than confining it to so what kind of changes in the education philosophy online is not going to go away is going to stay and it will be kind of a hybrid mode and um, if you look at the national education policy uh, there is an emphasis about multiple entry and exit and there is a emphasis about flexible learning any time anywhere learning and then there is an academic bank of credit all these will uh, uh, in turn uh, uh, fuel uh, uh, digital technologies how ai is going to help us in the classrooms yes ai is helping us right now okay, what is the choice of the decisions but once one sir has said yes we have to go personalize so the only thing we are going to give the right tablet if teacher is teaching in the hybrid mode whether it is in physical mode or in the online mode if student is writing something that means data is being collected what teacher is giving through augmented reality i mean the uh, lecture is being captured by the digital device and what is the problem to the student even in the classrooms or through the digital mode if that will come next day when the teacher is going to ask yes these are the problems automatically through artificial intelligence teacher is able to know yes this student hasn't understood and he has a query on these kind of things so that means within the classroom how this digital transformation is going to change the scenario in giving one to one experience but i think uh, uh, it's important also to look at technology in education from the point of view of the students uh, itself right uh, and let's think of the learner first the learners you know 10 years ago were very uh, were very different from the students today right how tech can be integrated i think in the classroom and the future of the class i think to a large extent i agree it's never going to be a complete binary it's never going to be a zero or a one uh, uh, you know and completely uh, in favor of hybrid of course the ratios will fluctuate uh, and we'll so see see in future how the ratios fluctuate there will be some elements which will be uh, more tech enabled and uh, we will reduce our unnecessary efforts and we can set our goal or targets to the point and we can learn in a very short time period mm. the essentials which is required for learning in a classroom or in a university or anywhere else we'll see in future how the ratios fluctuate there will be some elements which will be uh, more tech enabled and uh, 
we will reduce our unnecessary efforts and we can set our goal or targets to the point and we can learn in a very short time period mm. the essentials which is required for learning in a classroom or in a university or anywhere else these are my take to ai ai is very important going to be very important well reality augmented reality simulation tools practicals cannot be taught it has to be practiced all these needs lots of innovation in doing a particular experimentation in uh, online mode will be based on ais that is a inevitable situation which we are we have to face and we have to live with it whether it is starting from a robotic surgery or making something in an industry it will be a controlled robotics that are going to execute the job we all talk about technology in different aspects in the classroom technology has been around for many years uh, and and i know that you know even a projector is a piece of technology if we talk about a smart board is a piece of technology but off lately we all have been talking about online learning very significantly i know that you know at a national level as a citizen as a global citizen india citizen first uh, i know that you know access is a problem we need to solve for and online learning is the topic but our institutions which we represent on this call here or on this meeting here i think access may not be that much of a problem so how can my my thought process is how can we take technology to the next level of uh, use